So starting with the question, what type of arthritis is most likely associated with this patient's condition? So we've got a variety of different types of arthritis that we're looking at, but up at the top, we see that we have a 35 year old man with a history of ulcerative colitis, which pretty much tells you that it's gonna be the inflammatory bowel disease arthritis. But if we keep going, um, we'll see you know the pain, swelling, limited main, range of motion, um, which isn't very specific. And then we have our elevated ESR and CRP, which are also um, fairly non-specific markers of uh, inflammation. So yeah. going with inflammatory bowel disease arthritis. Perfect. So this question is a little bit easier for you for sure. Okay. But talk to me about, um, I mean, you made some really, really good, good points here. You keep mentioning specific insensitivity. I think a lot of a lot of people have issues with those terminology. You know, I think you did it beautifully here. So can you, in your own words, you know, how do you use sensitivity and specificity to get questions correct? Walk me through kind of how you do that. Honestly, I'm really terrible at it. Um, <laughs> I have to usually draw the little uh, box, you know, well, where it has like the sure, like sure. positives I, and negatives. I guess less of a, I guess less of a statistic, right? Um, yeah. Specific, but I meant as in a clinical sense, right? Because I think, you know, okay. to be honest with you, even, you know, I've tutored for years and years and years, but I still have to draw that stuff out because I forget also, but on a statistic standpoint, but talk to me on a more clinical standpoint, what it means to be sensitive or what does it mean to be specific when you're dealing with either lab values or you're dealing with either, um, you know, symptoms? Yeah. So with the symptoms, that feels a lot easier because, uh, so like ESR and CRP for your labs, um, I would say that those are non-specific because those tend to just indicate inflammation in general. Mm -hmm. um, so they can't really help you narrow down your diagnosis as much in this case. Uh, same with our symptoms of the pain and swelling uh, with limited range of motion, that's most arthritis. So it's not going to really point you into a, um, a diagnosis itself. Uh, it just kind of I guess comparatively, if it were to say that like you did an aspirate and pulled out like purulent fluid, that would be something that's pretty specific towards like septic arthritis. Yeah, yeah. I think beautifully um, said, especially, you know, sensitivity, right? It covers such a wide net. So I always say, what's the most specific sign that you're sick is a fever, right? I mean, that can mean anything, right? Um, yeah. That can mean you we're outside running a marathon too long and in the sun too long, right? It could mean that you have an upper respiratory infection. It can mean you have, you know, um, cancer that's dying, right? So it can mean all sorts of things. So it's very sensitive, right? But like you said, mm -hmm. spe uh, specific things, right? Um, or quote unquote, for better lack of words for test taking or, or the quote unquote buzzwords, right? Meaning that, um, you know, only one lab value is specifically points to one disease that's very specific right or you know a very specific symptom is you know um let's say something like murphy's sign right which is yeah you know, acute cholecystitis right which is very specific for that right um so so those are all things that um you know it's good to know the differences on a clinical standpoint um, because it's not only applicable on a test taking standpoint, but also, you know, when you start doing clinical rotations, um, you know, presenting that, oh, yeah, someone has a fever is, you know, not super, super specific for for that patient. So, um, but perfect.